What's up, everybody? I'm Kayla. I'm Jim. And welcome to another Meteorology Monday. <laughs> you stole my lines! <laughs> And Jim. And welcome back to another Meteorology Monday. How do I look? I look terrible. Look I am not cutting good. my hair until we reach 1,000 subs. Please get us to 1,000 subscribers. Please. <laughs> I'm dying over here. <laughs> it's hot. Today we are talking about the difference between tornadoes and water spouts. I know this is a topic that confuses a lot of people and it definitely confused me for a while there. Can't speak for you. <laughs> well, you know, back in the day they, you know, kind of merged the two together and there wasn't really a whole lot of educational push outside of what the National Weather Service could do at that time or what you could learn in school. These days we do have a clear difference between tornadoes and water spouts, so let's talk about the differences and uh, see, you know, what is what. That's right. So we've got the tornado, we've got the water spout, and then could there be a hybrid? Could there be a hybrid? Or it goes from one and transitions to the other? Stick around to find out. And while we're at it, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to press that subscribe button down below so you never miss another Meteorology Monday or finding out cool facts like what's the difference between a tornado and a water spout. That's right. So, to start us off, uh, let's just give some basic definitions of tornadoes and water spouts and uh, we'll go from there. So, what is a tornado and how does it form? A tornado is a swirly thing. <laughs> and thank you for that. And a water spout is a... Another swirly thing, <laughs> just with less swirl. Just with less swirl. Okay, so on a serious note, <laughs> a tornado and a water spout, the difference between them is in how they form. Tornadoes normally, or well, they always, form from a supercell thunderstorm and they form from a wall cloud, top down from the clouds to the ground. But how is that different from a water spout? A water spout, a general water spout. General water spout. You don't need a super self thunderstorm. Correct. It could just be a, a strong updraft that produces a heavy shower or maybe a thunderstorm, but not a strong thunderstorm. Yep. And just that updraft motion causes a water spout, which is um, you've got the warm air at the bottom and cooler air aloft, and so it doesn't like that. So the atmosphere like tries that. to turn it around <laughs> and starts pulling up from the bottom, and so therefore out over the ocean, especially like. Uh, in cooler seasons, I guess, you know, you would get yeah, where when water's you got warmer. really cold air and then the really warm water. Yep. In fact, there have been known water spouts over the Great Lakes. Many a water in spout. In fall and, and winter time because, yep. you know, the temperature difference, the water is much warmer than the cold air that's pouring out from yep. Canada. And so, you know, you could tend to, if you got a strong uh, shower that forms or some uplift that forms because of that, Sometimes that happens. Same thing, but we hear it mostly over the ocean areas. Mostly over the ocean areas, especially, you know, if you're fishing off the coast of Florida or, you know, you're swimming out the Outer Banks and, uh, or recently, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Anywhere where there's a really warm ground layer and a really cold upper layer gives a great situation for water spouts to form. That's right. Now, Myrtle Beach, though, is a little different. Now, there was a water spout, I think, uh, last year last or maybe year. earlier this year or something, but the one that's yep. most recent here at, uh, what is it, September, what was it, 24th, 25th, 25th 26th, 20th, of 2020, uh, yeah. that tornado event, <laughs> that water spout event, that's a little different, that wasn't a traditional water spout, and that's where we kind of get into this hybrid, yep. that it, it's, um, well, it could go one of two ways, I guess. So the first way, so we already described about a tornado. We described okay. about a true fair. fashioned water spout. Uh, yep, those are called fair weather water spouts, That's right. even though they can sometimes form when it's raining. But yeah, we have tornadoes, fair weather water spouts, and our last category is the hybrid. The tornadic water spout. <laughs> That's right. So with Myrtle Beach's event, the other day, that was actually a tornado from a supercell thunderstorm that made it towards the beach yep. and it continued out 
over the beach and into the little bit of the water. And so we kind of had that hybrid. Yeah. It was a tornado and then kind of it was a, over the water. And it still had strong updraft while it was over the water. So it had water yeah. spout transitional kind of thing going back and forth. Yeah, so so there, there's your hybrid there. So a tornado forms from a supercell top down. A fair weather water spout forms from the ground up due to like a temperature gradient. And then a tornadic water spout is actually just a regular tornado that has moved over the water. What would it be called if it was a general garden variety mm -hmm. fair weather water spout that moves on shore? An excellent question. Well, then it's not over the water anymore. It's over the land. So obviously it's not a water spout. It's a land spout. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Water spouts, land spouts, tornadoes, oh my! So now we have the definitions of our three buckets. Tornado, tornadic water spout, water spout. Let's pop up some images and see if you can guess which one is which. Now is the time to see if you're really paying attention. Yeah, were you paying attention? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know this was going to be interactive today, did you? That's right. <laughs> pop quiz, here we go. <laughs> so what we're looking for is which one is a tornado, which one is a tornadic water spout, which one is a water spout and which one is a land spout. So without further ado, here is the first picture. And now moving on to picture number two. And picture number three. Picture number four. want to see the answers to these, you gotta wait till the end of the video. <laughs> yep, we'll pop them up at the end with our uh, regularly scheduled bloopers at the very end. That's so, right. keep watching and comment down below while you're watching this, what your answers are, no cheating, and then check if you're right. And I think that'll conclude our video today of tornadoes and water spouts, oh my. <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you never miss another Meteorology Monday. Also linked down below is our website and our Patreon if you guys want to donate and see more of our content and help us out when, um, you know, eventually funding chase trips to go to places like Myrtle Beach and see tornadic water spots. That's right, exactly. <laughs> and getting haircuts a little Please bit more God. frequently. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to follow us over on Facebook and Instagram as well and that'll pop up right here. Until next time, I'm Kayla. And I'm Jim. Thanks for watching. And happy swirly. Less swirly. <laughs> oh, we, cross, I'm going to point to that one. <laughs> pointing in front of my face. <laughs>